for a big dispute that night. The birth of the American farmer. All kinds of farmers were there. Pumpkin farmers, cabbage farmers, tomato farmers. How do I know this? Well, by golly, I was there. So what if things go sour there tonight? Things go sour, you go home and you tell my war she's a dirty horse radish. Well, she's got a good head of lettuce on her right here. There's no lettuce on that head. She's a corn of lettuce that goes and sleeps with the black eyed peas. She's a corn of horse radish that gets stuck behind a catcher for 10 years. So these two boys we're meeting tonight, I hear they're a bunch of awful cats there. Yeah? The rotten cats, alright. The kind of rotten cats from New York. New York. New York. So what if things do go sour? We ain't grapes. What are you doing? Making us wait out here like a bunch of cold zucchinis. Yeah, we ain't produce. Are we the compost mafia to you? You know your wife's a dirty horseradish. You looking for a bunch of fives? You don't know who you're messing with, you dirty mushroom. Boss, I think you're trying to teach us like a bunch of eggplant bombers. Now calm down. We ain't here for any of your rotten tomatoes, any of your daddy onions. We're here for the greens, the sprouts, the Brussels sprouts. But no mushrooms. Now we're not going to give you any salary until we see our peppers. You got to show us the cabbage facts. I don't know why you think we got the cabbage. It's been a miscommunication. You got peaches in your hand. You look like you got a nice little big cabbage on your head. Where'd this guy come from? <laughs> Boss, I just followed you with you. Your breath, it reeks like green beans. You had green beans for lunch. You've been eating green bean soup all afternoon, haven't you? I can tell. You came in here reeking like green beans. You look like the kind of guys who would confuse clementines for oranges. You're the kind of person that keeps jars of pickles in the basement and never opens them. Your wife's a horseradish. A dirty horseradish. The kind of horseradish that gets stuck behind the ketchup bowl in your refrigerator for 10 years. The kind of horseradish that nobody eats. The kind of horseradish that your family eats on Christmas. Do you hand over the greens? Look how stiff you walked, boss. You look like he's got a zucchini up his coyster. Stiff as an asparagus he is. You're the kind of onion that I look at in the produce section and I say, where the hell did you come from? I had no idea, my friend. Yeah. You got hair over the hour? Yeah. I know how you gotta get it. I tell your partner to put his cauliflower hand back in his pocket. And that was that. And that was one dirty onion. Sorry for wasting your time. If it doesn't go well tonight, you go home and you tell my wife she's a horseradish. A dirty horseradish. And I know she's been sleeping with the broccolis on Fifth Ave. Yeah. Rock, 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 rock. Rock, rock.